So we're going to do the same thing again. The side you point to is the side we keep. OK. Are you ready? Band ready? <laughs> So you pointed once again to the right-hand side. Yes. You want to keep the right? Yes, please. Okay, everyone on the left, please fall out now. So I'm going to jot down here. You chose to keep the right-hand side. Okay, and everyone remaining, reform. So that's narrowed us down to one final line. <laughs> so we're going to split them down once again. Band ready? <laughs> OK, this time you pointed to the left. Yes. Everyone on the right-hand side, fall out now. Quick, left. Just going to jot down left. OK, what I need you to do is just look along the line, and whoever you want to choose, point to them. The person you point to is the person we choose to remain. <laughs> you want to keep Baz right in the middle? Yes, please. Baz, if you stay there, everyone else, if you could please fall out now. So you've chosen to remain with the saxophone. So I'm going to write down here... Good instrument. <laughs> saxophone. OK, so we started with 38 members of the band, and that was a complete free choice. Yes, correct? all free. Join me down here. Now, I made a prediction just before we started the music. If I take this baton just oh. off you, just inside the handle, we have a little slip of paper. Now, this is my prediction that I made just before we started the music. If I unravel this now, you'll be interested to see that the choice of music that you freely chose, that I thought you'd go for, was Royal Britannia. Yes. But not only that, I also thought you'd keep the blue side. But then I thought you'd keep the right-hand side. <laughs> Not only that, but then the left-hand side. Wow. And I thought you'd be left with one instrument. And I wrote down here, you will choose the saxophone. <laughs> no way! <laughs> wow. OK, you read my mind. <laughs> That's for you. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining You're us amazing. here today, Catherine. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you Thanks so much. much. That was amazing. How did you do that? How did you do it? Coming up, I go behind the scenes at Britain's Got Talent. How do you do it? It seems very easy to read. And this soldier sends a message home from abroad. Tony, can you hear us? I can. See you after the break. Winning Britain's Got Talent has changed my life completely. As well as performing on the Royal Variety Show in front of Prince Charles, I performed on the Queen's 90th birthday celebrations, and I headlined a huge West End magic show. But it's always nice to go back to where it all began, so I'm going back to the London auditions for the new series of Britain's Got Talent to catch up with some old friends. Amanda, Alicia, Hello. it's so How good to you see you. you. How are you? Really well. Really well. Yes. Are you enjoying the new series of BGT? How's yes. it going? Loving it. Bonkers <laughs> as yeah. usual. Good. Yes. Good. <laughs> Seen any army guys yet? No. no. We no. haven't had many this year. No, not one. I think it's because you finished them all. Oh, really? Yeah. What about magicians? There must be loads of magicians. We have had a few. Yeah. I think good you've inspired ones. a lot of people That's to good. come on the show. Now, I wanted to try something with you both while, while I've got you. Dirty here. beast. Yeah, yeah. It's not as dirty as it sounds. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to ask you both to think of something in your mind. Um, Amanda, I'm going to ask you to think of a celebrity. It could be someone you know or someone that you'd like to meet, someone you'd like to spend a lot of time with. Um, and Alicia, I'm going to ask you to think of a famous landmark. OK, interesting. <laughs> OK. Um, so I'm going to now draw you a little picture. I'm going to try and figure out what it is you're thinking of. Uh, Alicia, I'm going to start with yourself. Keep thinking of the landmark over and over again in your mind now. Uh, like, keep saying it over and over and over again in your mind. Interesting. Um, <laughs> and Amanda, if you could do the same, so keep thinking of your celebrity over and over and over again. Now, my drawings aren't actually very good at all. I'm going to write above it what it is. Same picture now. <laughs> just so that there's uh, no discrepancy, so you know exactly what it is, because it's going to be embarrassing. OK, good stuff. OK, so my prediction is set. I've drawn you a little picture. I'm going to start with yourself, Alicia. OK. 
Please tell us, what is the famous landmark? The Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower? Yes. Oh, bien sûr. What's interesting is that is exactly what I drew here, the Eiffel yeah. Tower. That's Amazing. not a bad drawing. It's not too bad, right? Drawing. And Did Amanda. you need to put Eiffel Tower in there? <laughs> I was we didn't get that, we were worried. Yeah, I thought you might think it was the Blackpool Tower or something like that. That's what worried me. Uh, Mandy, you're thinking of a celebrity, right? Yes. Who is the celebrity you're thinking of? Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig. Now, believe it or not, he is actually in the picture. If I make it slightly clearer for you. There we have. That's amazing. The Eiffel Tower. Wow. On the other side, we have Mr. Daniel Craig. Wow. That's amazing. So How did you so... do it? Well, he seemed very easy to read. That's all good. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely to see you. Thank, thank you, you so good. much for agreeing to Good luck with everything. Yes, good luck and, with yeah, everything. Enjoy the well new done. series. Thank I look you. forward to seeing it on TV. Thanks. It's nice. It's so lovely. Lovely. <laughs>I met Jamie Walker and her kids, Lula and Dexter. Their husband and father, Corporal Tony Walker, spends long periods of time away stationed on operations abroad. I believe that not only does absence make the heart grow fonder, but that distance and time apart strengthens the relationship between a family. So I've invited the Walkers back to the base to put this to the test. Thank you all very much for joining us this evening. We are currently in one of the hangars that they use just before our troops get deployed on operations. They come here first, they check all their gear, make sure they've got everything before repacking it, going down to the airbase and being flown out to wherever they're going in the world. But we're very lucky because we've got the hangar this evening to do some magic. Earlier on, I met the Walker family and we did some magic together and I'm very pleased to say they're here today. We've got Jamie, we've got Dexter and Lula. Jamie's husband is currently away on operations, but when we met earlier, I had a little idea, and I thought we'd try a little experiment in long-range mind reading. <laughs> I didn't tell you this earlier, but we're actually gonna get your husband, Tony, on a video link now, so can we raise the projector? Here we go, hopefully he's gonna join us momentarily. Uh, here he is! Tony, can you hear us? Okay. Oh, good stuff. Thank you very much for joining us, Tony. I have your family here. We've got your kids and your wife, Jamie, here. Now, you haven't seen each other for a long, long time, but I know your connection will still be very, very strong, and that is what we're going to test in just a moment's time. Tony, earlier on when I spoke to you, I asked you to make sure you had a pen and paper ready. Do you have right. that? Fantastic. Thank you, Tony. Now, Jamie, what I need you to do in your mind, nothing out loud, but I need you to think of a country. Have you got one in mind? Okay, it's very important you don't say it out loud, but what I need you to do, I'll give you a pen and paper, is write it down for me, nice and clearly, but make sure I don't see it, make sure Tony doesn't see it, and just let us know once you've done that. Okay. Now, now, Tony, what I need you to do is use your instincts and try and pick up the kind of country that your wife might go for at this point. Go with your gut instinct, whatever comes to mind. Once you think you might have it, write it down on your notepad for us. And let us know once you've done. Yep. Now we're really testing this now. Now, Jamie, for the first time, please show us what country did you choose? France. France. <laughs> show us, Tony, what did you go for? You did do France! That is a good start. That's a very good start. That is a brilliant start, OK? That shows you're in sync with each other, which is exactly what I was hoping for, which means now we can take it to the next level. Jamie, this time, if you tear that page off, let's go for a picture. I need you to think of a drawing and just draw it down for us, make sure I don't see again, and let us know once you've done that. Hold it against your chest so that no one can see. Have you done that? Now, Tony, this time we're doing a drawing. So I need you, in your mind, to have a think about what kind of drawing your wife might go for. And then whenever you're ready, draw it down for us. OK, good stuff. Tony, can you still hear me? <laughs> have, we, oh, have we lost sound? OK. Sorry about this, folks. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't worry, Dexter. Um, hopefully, we'll get him back in a minute. 
Do you remember earlier on, we produced a really cool toy car for you? We're gonna try something bigger. Let's try something even better. Check this out. <laughs> Ladies and gents, we have one more surprise for the Walker family, because inside this Panther vehicle, we have Corporal Tony Walker. Ladies and gentlemen, the Walker. It's been great fun visiting some of my old training grounds. <laughs> Catching up with friends and being able to make this family's day was truly special. I uh, still don't know how to wear the win. When the picture started to go funny, oh, it's gone. I was actually thinking, what is he drawing? But I didn't really think there was sort of anything going on. I thought, oh, they'll sort it out in a minute. Check this out. <laughs> It's a loud vehicle, so it's not like you can just sneak in. Corporal Tony Walker. Oh, my God. Bit of a shock. Amazing. But as with all magic, the best part is giving people an experience that they'll remember for the rest of their life. I wouldn't be able to stab the cars even if they were in a table. What was the card you chose? The Jack and Diamond. He stabbed the, the car I was thinking about, so it was it's unbelievable, right. actually. <laughs> with all of the black cards. Quite wow. unbelievable. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. No wonder Churchill was impressed. <gasps> Amazing. And it's not like it's been scratched out and rubbed down and put back in again, That's because it's genuinely right. there. You would choose. No way. The saxophone. <laughs> that was so impressive. I made my choices myself. So how he could have possibly written those down before I even stepped out here, I have no idea. I guess that's magic. It's amazing. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Let the ladies see the laddies. No likey, no lighty. Yes, it's back. Brand new Take Me Out next. Then from the bonkers to the bizarre and the brilliant, of course, it's all new Britain's Got Talent at eight.